brother. So, I'm going to be talking about your physique and a woman's attraction. Those two go hand in hand. You understand what I'm saying? Now, disclaimer before I get comments in the section and all that. It's not the end all be all. Of course, you got to have that masculine, dominant, hard frame. And I'm going to get into that in a little bit and tell you why being in shape and having a little bit of muscle, muscular definition about you having that hard body correlates to that. You dig what I'm saying? First of all, shout out to Ron Wills. I'm going to shout out Ron Wills. If you watch the Manosphere, the Red Pill, Alpha, blah, blah, you know, all these channels and stuff talking about man stuff. Uh, you, you probably ran into Ron Wills. If you haven't, I'm going to put his link down in the description talking about the body game. But before even watching his videos, I myself, I'm prior, prior military, prior Navy. And I experienced this through experience. And I mean, I was out of shape. I had the double chin. I had the man titties, you know what I mean? And I was in the military and it was ridiculous that I was in the military and out of shape. I just looked at myself and my homeboy, he's from DC as well, just like Ron Mills. He's like, man, you, got, you know, you're in the military and stuff and you out of shape with the double chin and the titties and all that, man. Hey, look, bro, you gotta get in shape. So I was like, all right, man. I looked at myself in the mirror. I'm like, yo, you know what? You're right. I gotta get in shape. So I started hitting the gym. And, and another disclaimer, disclaimer number two. Fellas, you are not finna be Ronnie Col Coleman or Arnold Schwarzenegger or Jason Samuel. Uh, Sam you know the dude that played Aquaman, whatever his name is. You're not finna be him in two months. This shit, fitness needs to be part of your life. Just like you eat, just like you sleep, just like y'all beat your meat. A lot of y'all, you need to stop that on a side note. You need to stop being your meat. Just like you squeeze that in, find time to squeeze that in in the time of day, you need to find fitness, uh, squeeze that in, all right? Not only for women's attraction, but for your, your damn sanity as well, all right? Because as men, we're supposed to be active. We're supposed to be go-getters, that warrior spirit. You dig me? But anyway, with that being said, I started working out, you know what I mean? I, you know, I was getting choosing signals here and there before, but when I started working out, man, I started seeing a lustful side of women. Let's just put it like that. You know what I mean? From from the elevator stairs, you know, they give you that little elevator stare to, you know what I mean? Straight up them telling you like, ooh, you know, you got the muscles, you got the chest. And a lot of times, fellas, women will sneak in, uh, they'll cop a field. You know, they'll try to sneak in these little fields and stuff. They're like, excuse me. And they'll just rub your whole back down. Like, dang, was that really necessary for you to rub my whole back down just for you to say, excuse me? But that's just an example of what they do. You understand what I'm saying? And well, I'm, will confidence and charisma and all that shit get you a woman? Yes, of course. Of course it will. But what I'm saying is when you being in shape, it makes it that much easier and it activates her lust a lot more faster it activates her sexual attraction and a sexual attraction attraction and porn of course it is a lot of dudes try to front like oh it's not only about sex come on man come on fam if 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 you were a woman that you are intimately with and the sex is not she's not sexually attracted to you that's nothing but a friendship. I'm sorry to break the news to you. So you over here front like, oh, it's not all about sex. If you want a relationship with a woman or, you know, a casual, whatever, what have you, then yes, it's extremely, matter of fact, it's the number one thing because that's what differentiates an intimate relationship between uh, friendship, between you being her little, little pen pal slash bitch, <laughs> you know what I mean? So with that being said, fellas, Hit that gym because when a woman sees a man that is in shape, that has that rock solid build, you know, of course you have to have that masculine dominance about you too. You have to have that hard uh, attitude about you too. I'm not saying be an asshole, but you have to have that dominant sort of stern attitude to complement her soft feminineness, all right? When she sees that rock hard uh, figure, you know what I mean, coming towards her, man, hey, in her mind, and yes, fellas, this is how women think, believe it or not, all right? This is what she's thinking. She's like, ooh, damn, like I would let him straight hammer me, you know what I'm saying? I would let him straight slam me, 
You know what I'm talking about? Straight WWF, The Rock, SmackDown. That's how they thinking, fellas. And the, the way that you get them thinking like that is having that hard body. You gotta have some kind of muscle. I'm not talking about you, yeah, you don't gotta look like Ar Arnold Schwarzenegger. You don't gotta look like Idris Alba. You dig what I'm saying? But you do, you know, this has been discussed over and over again. That V shape, the broad shoulders and the narrow waist, that chest poking out, you know what I mean? Standing tall, that posture. The, the, the some sort of muscular definition, all right? Now, you're not finna get her wet if you're looking like the Nutty Professor, all right? If you're looking like Shrek, my man, you was not finna get her wet. I'm sorry. Yeah, your charisma and stuff, that's gonna get you through, but it's gonna take a long time. It'll take, let, let me put it to you this way. It'll take you probably a longer time to sexually seduce her than a man that's in shape. A man that's in shape, you know, he honestly doesn't have to do a hell of a lot. He does not have to do a hell of a lot. All he has to do is talk to her just enough and get her out on a date or meet him up, some, some, something like that. And she's, she's wet already. You know what I mean? From the first sight, she knows. But a man that's out of shape, you know, man, you, you probably, hey, look, I'm not gonna front you. You probably gonna have to jump through hoops and ladders. What I'm saying is get in shape so it can make streamline things and make it so much easier, bro. I'm telling you, when I started getting in shape, when I started getting my fitness uh, together, I started getting way more shoes and signals. I started getting the elevator eyes, you know. What's the elevator eye? When a woman does this, when she looks you down and up like an elevator, like mm, that type of deal. You know what I mean? I'm just getting those. When I walk by a woman, they, they're much more, they're much more sweeter to you. When you have that dominant frame to you, when you have that solid dominant frame to you, they, they're like they turn into little, they turn into sweethearts around you, as opposed to not all of them, because some chicks are just, they just hate, they just hate men, and they just have this uh, penis complex where they just hate men because they're men. You know what I'm saying? where they always are, are in a constant competition. You, those type of chicks, leave them alone completely. All right, the type, and, and the type of chicks I'm talking about is the type of chicks that will constantly belittle a man. Kind of, oh, you can't even lift that up? Wow, you you weak instead, you know, constantly belittling a dude. Don't even mess with them. I'm talking about the ones that are feminine, you dig? And for the most part, when you hold that masculine frame, when you hold that masculine, when you got that masculine build, that V taper, the wide shoulders, the chest, and you hold that masculine uh, dominant frame, for the most part, for the most part, like I said, you got them outlier chicks, but for the most part, women become way more sweeter to you, more, more docile, you dig? Because as unfortunate as it, as it sounds, as harsh cutthroat as it sounds, if a woman is unattracted to you, bruh, she's gonna be a complete asshole to you. Real talk, bruh. Like, your rejection might come a little more harsh than a dude that's in shape and, you know, he got that shape about him and that masculine confidence. Your rejection might be a little more harsh than his. Even if she's not really that that attracted to him, just him having that, that masculine build, that masculine, it, it, it she'll be uh, more sweeter to him. I'm telling y'all, man, I am telling y'all, you think I'm pushing. If you think I'm lying, if you think this sounds shallow, that a woman would be sexually attracted by a man's physique. Like, I know a lot of dudes be thinking I get a lot of pushback. I know Ron Wills talked about that. This is why I can relate to him so much, because he gets so much pushback when, when he talks about being in shape. I've got that myself. Dudes get offended. They're like, oh, um, no, nah, man, it's... It's not all about that. It's about your money and you, bro. I, and the reason, I, the reason why I think they get pissed off so much is because they don't want to believe that women are shallow. And I wouldn't even call it shallow. It's just nature. Just like how we see a chick that's in shape, how we see that figure eight on a woman. You know, she got that soft, feminine voice, and she got that soft demeanor about her, and she got them, them cakes. You know, what I'm talking about it. Don't hurt. She don't got to be IG model. Uh, with the cakes, you don't gotta be Melissa Ford or or Drea, whatever, with them cakes. 
but just a little something there and she's fit. It looked like she hit the gym. It looks like she's fit. And she's soft and feminine. Man, our shit will be a boing on stiff. You hear me? Boing, real talk, man. That's the same way with women. When they see a man that's in shape, they got he got that hard body. They're gonna be they're gonna be feeling some type of way. You understand me? And that soft feminineness comes out of them. And a lot of dudes, they get offended because they feel they feel like it's so shallow. Like, oh, that's it. You gotta be in shape, man. That's just shallow. That's the last thing on the list. That actually should be one of the first things on the list. One of the first thing. Of course, there's other things. A whole bunch of you gotta have your shit together as a man. Anyway, that should be the what number one thing if you're trying to get that sexual primal lust out of her. You dig what I'm saying? So. Fellas, I know we in quarantine, hit them push-ups, and some some of y'all like over here, over here in Houston, we can hit the parks. I be in the park every day, baby. These games do not stop. If not, hit, hit them, um, and you know, we done had all this time, order something off of Amazon if you got your little, little change. Order resistance bands, resistance bands are great. Don't sleep on those. Uh, they got little dip bars that you can get, and I know some of y'all press for money, I understand, but if you can't get that, you know what I mean, at least get you one resistance band, and some of these resistance bands, their weight goes up to 85, depending on, 85 pounds, depending on how much you stretch them out, all right? That's another video for another topic. Okay, so with that being said, fellas, hit that gym. Yes, it does bring out sexual attraction from women. Believe what you want to believe. I'm telling you, just like I'm telling you, and Ron Wills is telling you, and a lot of other dudes that's in shape, they'll tell you the same. Yeah. Okay, so with that being said, man, like and comment and subscribe. Share my shit to your Facebook or what have you. Uh, let me know what y'all think, man. If you like it, I love it. If you don't, fuck it. <laughs>